need to have a good coordination between us. The main reasons for this startup and good growth in the, the, the four years, international, in the internal market is good. Good farm gate prices, so we have that advantage, including if you compare with another parts, another farm gate price in the region or even in Brazil, two big examples, uh, the price in Mozambique are better. Hmm? So, and it's around those uh, figures, 450 per town till 615, there are even pinpoint in the borders with Malau over there. So that is very good prices. Uh, incentives and technical package, this is our role, is to create these incentives and technical package. And as Lin was pointing, I think that is very important to have the vision, to have the, the uh, long-term approach, because to change one, and any ask my experience of 38 years of agronomy, I was born in Mozambique. I was born in Maputo, but my experience in central and north of Mozambique, I worked before in West Africa, my experience is minimum five years to tend to change something. This is my experience, to change something. We cannot think about three years, two years, four years project. Forget, my, my experience. From five to 10 is what we need. So I agree total long-term approach and step-by-step. Step. We call it in Mozambique, eat the, the soup spoon by spoon. We need to permanent uh, uh, action. So the incentives are very important, speaking for different, I will speak later, and, and the, the investments in the industry. That is very important to approach the private sector, to have scale economy also with private sector, and to have intensity, intensive capital, not only in farming, but also in processing. There's some problem here. Okay, we expect for the new crop season we are planting now, 50,000 tons from the 35,000 last season, and 70,000, and we don't see any problem in 2015-16 to have 100,000 tons. So it's going nice. Hmm? Producer profiles, we consider it's very, it's not very correct to make this kind of division, but we need a, 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 to have a, a criteria to organize our thinking. So we consider small, smaller farmers who no technology, major part is our main target, how to change. But we, we have the small commercial farmers, we prefer that word than lead farmers. It's a small commercial farmers, it is business. So the dimensions today are like that. It depends, the crop depends. And less commercial farms are appearing, but they are not we have in this moment in soybean production around 12 in farming, but we have the industry also. In this moment, we have three solvent plants in Mozambique looking for soybean, one example. This is an example of a small farmer with a family, 2.5 2, 2 hectares in Angonia, near the border with Malau. In some parts of Mozambique, the animal section is a pinpoint in Manica border with, Mal with, Zamb with Zimbabwe. It's 40 hectares of a, of a, of a, of a farmer. Huh? He's within control with, with, with this kind of technology. It is not easy to do, not destroy the plant. This is a small commercial farmer. See the figures there? In this moment, we have a program to capitalize 50 guys like that in equipment, land preparation equipment, threshing equipment, and mainly for seed multiplication, C3 grading, okay? But this guy has an income around $100,000 last season of different crops, mainly soybean. This is an example of large-scale commercial farmer. This is an American company, Capital that using Mozambican Zim guys in terms of staff, and they have this kind of dimension, 690, but they are, they are already in this season, 3,000, 2,000, 1,500 hectares of different companies, eight companies. So it's appealing this investment. This is an example of cost of production. So when I was in Brazil in Soybean Congress one year ago, some Brazil told me, Luis, forget, it's not possible, scale economy, it's not possible to be profitable with small scale in soybean. I, I, I told, look, this is reality. 
I have more than 20 data like that of reality and see here the profit. If it is 1,200 tons per hectare, that is not is low to Brazilian or to another. See the profit because the price are good and the costs per hectare are very low. And we are speaking one ton and 1,200. 1300 tons uh, uh, kilos per hectare. So if we have two tons, so it's prof profitable. That is a good commodity for the farmers. Our philosophy is like that. Mainly the big investors, I work in a big company, Donald. The big investors, they think in 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 hectares continuous farm. We, our, my experience, and my central team, I have a small team that works with me, there are significant risks on that, in our case in Mozambique, and the risks are there, and can increase, especially the land conflict. This is our experience in Mozambique. So, we are in favor of this capital, but be cautious with your model. So we defend this approach. Apparently, it's a little theoretical. This is our experience. Good balance between the big and the small farming. How to manage that? So there are some advantage. I work in cotton during 13 years. Small, small farmers with a lot of mistakes, of volatile commodity. So I've been it's less difficult to work, in my opinion. So this model, some companies are now promoting because if we, the government institutions in terms of extension are very, very weak. It's not sustainable to think about that. So we need the involvement of the big commercial farming, also involving out growers model. How to manage that? The management capacity has two aspects, the intensive and the out growers small farms. This is a big challenge. To manage. So we are defending and we are promoting these kind of things with incentives and some. So our role in the last years as TechnoServe is direct support to large commercial farmers and small commercial farmers, that is the new class, using scaling some technology like seeds, like inoculant, like other aspects, giving some technical support. That is, not, we are not discovered the wheel. We are only adequating the wheel to our reality. And this is where we apply the funding that exists in order to, to, to facilitate the private sector and the small commercial farmers to be growing, growing, and growing, to cover the small, small holders in order to bring them to the new class. This is a long-term perspective. This triangle, we are now, this is a big challenge because the commercial banks don't interfere a lot in agriculture, a lot of risk, but now some of them, these four banks that you see in the left side, are accepted and we sign memo of understanding with them in order to have specific credit lines. In this moment we have uh, four credit lines to co-funding some efforts, not only for capex, but also for uh, working capital. This is a new program that we think that could be spread for another area. With Dutch support, $5 million, we define one area, one very good area, and we are pushing 50 small commercial farmers with this kind of equipment. The co-funding is it puts 10% cash, eight, $9,000, dollars 10000 equivalent. The bank co-funding till 40% in a five years loan with a Less worth interest, instead 23%, 14% to 17%, we negotiate that. And we, with the Dutch grant, we co-funding grant 50%. So the equipment is less expensive, but is business approach. So and we are pushing and will finalize with the installation of a new seed processing unit of a cooperative that is being creating, 
We brought a team of Columbia University with local consultants with experience on that. We are trying to push this experience, and this experience, in our opinion, could be replicated in all three, four places with good conditions like this one that is uplands of Germany. This is that word, technosome must disappear in terms of seed multiplication, must appear a cooperative or private sector that is happening now. These are, these are the, the, the six aspects that we consider in soya bean in this moment that are the key aspects that we need to be attacked. And we are trying to attack this together. IITA is involved on that. IFDC is involved on that. We are involved. Cruz is involved. Some private sites are involved in seed production or big uh, commercial farming. And also some agrochemical companies are involved. One example, two years ago, nobody was using Inoculant today using inoculant 15,000 farmers of the total around 30,000 small farms. Why? Because very low cost, a big impact that I will show you in terms of yield. This is one example of diffusion of technology. Demo plots. In the last three years, we tried to spread the executor is a lead farmer. Our factor, minimal dimension, we don't agree with demo plots of 200, 400 square meters. This is for show off in our opinion. We need to have a realistic dimension near the, rea the reality. How fact or one act? So this is the type of demo plot that we install. This is one example. There are four treatments, planting date, inoculant, SSP, superphosphate, or binary. Can be another one, depending. This is our, the key factors that we consider. And in 125, last season, 135 installed, 125 with good results. Because we, this is small farmers, is it good? And each one is visited. This is one example of a lady, six hectares, and she has a demo plot. And the neighbors are visiting. Big impact. 6,000 small farmers last season observed like that. Two field days per, per, per crop season. Pre harvesting and post harvesting. Some examples. This data is based in three years. 45 demo plots first year, 83 second year, and 125 third year. The average gives. Planting date is the first Q1A with and without good planting date, B, bad planting date. 2A, 2A is inoculant without, SSP without. So see the difference in yield. And that is average of three years and average of different demo plots. This is the inoculant type imported from Brazil, $23 per kilo. It's $5 per dosage of 200 grams. It's very cheap to the farm. We accept because of the impact in yields, minimum 400 till 1,000 kilos per hectare. In demo plot seed editions, without which this is better than any, the, the people see that and they are complaining during two, three years. This is one aspect that we are introducing, it's not easy, that is zero tillage. It's very important to introduce this kind of technology, and, but this needs a very big assistance in order. There are some traditional mulching technologies in some areas of Mozambique, but we need to organize better these kind of things. Market exists, as I explained. See the metricage per farmer, the increase income per farmer, from the blue till the red one in four years. If Mozambique any time have a surplus, the region, based on a study that we realized three years ago, the region is deficit in 2.7 to 2010, will be 2 million, dollars, 2 million tons of deficit in the region in the 2020. So there are good market in the region to for this kind of crop. South Africa is always the big challenge. This cannot be done as they increase the areas, the farmers has a big problem that is threshing. So even that the, the product is good, that is a hard labor. This is one part of solution, ten thousand dollars investment. This kind of investment is appearing by private sector. 4,000 tons static capacity is a link with feed industry. 
is a new solvent plant in one province, another big solvent plant. They start now two, two months ago. These guys need 25,000 tons per seed. So this is the biggest buyer in the center of Mozambique. They bought this season 15,000 tons. So private sector is an important part, also in the mine. Challenge. This is our big challenge that we have. This class of small commercial farmers for us is a key actor in order to spread and to improve the small farmers. This is important. So we think that this is a target group that must be supported in a five, 10 years minimum. Diffusion of technology maintain the same approach. Hmm? Uh, we go continue to having some data because we need government is very weak. We are supporting government to have this global vision. Seed multiplication for, for us is the key aspect. Seed, seed, seed multiplication. And uh, facilitate large commercial farming. We need to, to increase, to facilitate with the government support. And define soy, soy, soy zone, soy zona, if you can call in Portuguese, precise varieties and farming systems. So this is what I, I could speak 30 minutes, but. 